When we talk about labor and labor induction in our videos, we often talk about two hormones, right? One is oxytocin and the other one is prostaglandins. And oftentimes moms to be ask us, okay, when it comes to the actual start of labor, which hormone is more important, right? Because in order to support the release of oxytocin, you do different things compared to the release of uh, prostaglandins. So when it comes to the actual start of labor, uh, prostaglandins play a slightly more important role, right? Uh, in fact, prostaglandins serve two roles. One is they help you ripen your cervix and the other one is they support the start of labor, right? And so many things that we promote on our channel, uh, like uh, uh, eating dates or um, uh, evening primrose oil or uh, membrane sweeps. Um, all of those things are supposed to help you with the release of prostaglandins in your body to help get labor started. But, and, and, and this is kind of crucial, right? Because obviously the start of labor is completely meaningless if it stops after a while um, or if it does not progress right? Um, and this is exactly where oxytocin comes into play because this is the hormone that keeps labor progressing, right? And everything that involves touch, like a massage treatment or a, a nipple stimulation, uh, all of these things can help you with the release of oxytocin in your body.